he should be able to get to about 120 degrees, give or take, here, um, without losing his rib position. Okay, so he should be able to kind of maintain that, that lockdown position before, now just totally relax for me, before I do that with this arm too, if you never have this happens. So now you can see where much greater rib flare, um, hyperextension at that TL junction. And now we can think about all the people we've worked with that when their arms go overhead, this happens, right? <laughs> okay. So this is huge, I think, because this is really where it's going to be the ticket to determining should they even do an overhead motion? Do they have truly have the mobility? So bring that arm back for a second. So if I really lock his ribs down, does he truly have the shoulder mobility to do it? Or is he just getting that? Is he just kind of um, you know, renting it, basically? So he doesn't really have it. He's just getting it from his TL junction. That kind of makes sense. So this, I think, is just a really great tool to understanding that person of like what might be appropriate. And I absolutely think we can train him really pretty quickly on this. And actually, and he's doing really well overall. Like he, I would like to see him be able to maintain this pressure a little bit more. So this is where we're talking about pressure. So if I was cueing him, gonna take an inhale. We'll try one more time, sorry. And then exhale. Wait, with this arm too, sorry. So I would say right there is really good, and that's 120 degrees. Like he's maintaining that, and actually really well. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Like he's keeping that locked down, and he could probably go even farther with with it if we like kind of worked on it a little bit. Okay. So that's that's going to take a little more coordination with the transverse abdominis and the obliques. Yes. Yeah. But it's also just a basic arm movement that you would do in everyday life. So like it shouldn't be, it's going to still be more, the reason I said that is it's still more reflexive. It's not like, it shouldn't feel like it's not like your push up. Do, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it shouldn't feel really hard. It's just we're cueing him a little bit because we're assessing him to see can he do that? Can he maintain this position? And most people, as you will even see right now, might not be able to do that. That they're going to really kind of break down at that at that TL junction pretty quickly. And most often, it's it's even you know you'll see it at even 90 degrees. Sometimes they can't even get into that position enough for you to be able to do it. So it's a really good one because I think this one helps specifically with exercise prescription because you can really help them understand it you know like I said is an overhead press you know appropriate for you and maybe not like if they say well I can you know I do overhead press all the time but when they do an overhead press this is happening then it obviously would not be an appropriate exercise for them okay or anything lifting the bar overhead, you know snatches whatever you want to think of